Kindness is a word we hear every day, isn't it? It's taught to us from a young age, encouraged by parents, teachers, and even strangers. Be kind, we're told. But no one ever tells us, how kindness can ruin your life. Now, don't misunderstand me, I'm not saying kindness is wrong. Quite the opposite. Kindness is a beautiful thing, like a refreshing river that nourishes everything in its path. But even rivers can overflow, causing destruction if they're not carefully managed. Let me tell you a story. Years ago, when I began my journey as a monk, I was eager to help anyone who came my way. I listened to every concern, every problem, every sorrow. I gave my energy freely to those around me, believing that the more I helped others, the more fulfilled I would become. For a while, it felt good. But as time went on, I found myself, exhausted. I was drained, like a candle burned at both ends, with nothing left to give. That's when I realized, kindness without boundaries is like holding water in your hands. Eventually, it slips away, leaving you empty. You see, kindness is a choice, a way of living that reflects our deepest compassion. But true compassion doesn't mean losing yourself in others' needs. True compassion means understanding that your own well-being matters too. Think of it like breathing. To help others, you must first breathe in. Only then can you breathe out, giving life to those around you. Take a moment now, and reflect on a time you gave too much of yourself. Did it leave you feeling stronger, or did it leave you feeling depleted? Why is that? For many of us, we confuse kindness with self-sacrifice. We think to be kind means to forget our own needs, but that's not true kindness. That's a transaction that leaves us empty. I once knew a woman who visited our monastery regularly. She was a wonderful person, always helping others, always putting everyone else before herself. She came to me one day, visibly tired, but still smiling. She told me she felt overwhelmed and unappreciated by those she helped. I asked her, if a pot is always pouring, will it not eventually run dry? She nodded, but I could see she struggled to truly accept this. Over time, we worked together, and she learned how to give with boundaries. She became like a tree, rooted, steady, able to give shade and fruit without falling apart. And in learning to say, no, sometimes, she found new ways to say, yes, to herself. This lesson brings us to a profound truth. Kindness must come from abundance, not scarcity. And if you feel drained, it's a signal, not a failure. Remember, kindness should nourish both the giver and the receiver. If it harms either, it's not kindness, it's something else, perhaps obligation, or even guilt. In a world that celebrates selflessness, it's easy to believe that saying, no, is selfish. But self-care is not selfish. You cannot pour from an empty cup. Imagine how different the world would be if each of us gave from a place of fullness. We'd be able to give more and truly change lives because we are whole ourselves. So, how do we balance kindness with mindfulness? Start by setting boundaries, even small ones. Practice saying, I can help you, but I also need time for myself. It may feel uncomfortable at first, but over time, you'll feel lighter. And don't be surprised if you find your kindness has more power, more impact when it comes from a place of self-respect. I often remind myself of this, when we give from a full heart, not only do we heal others, we also heal ourselves. True kindness starts within. It's not just about being there for others, it's about being there for yourself. Because only when you are whole can you help others become whole too. So, if you're watching this and find yourself feeling worn down, reflect on. Where your kindness comes from. Is it coming from a place of love and strength, or is it draining you? And remember, it's okay to step back, to care for yourself, to recharge. You deserve kindness as much as anyone else. Let's leave today with this thought. Kindness is a path, a mindful one. Walk it with balance, with respect for your own needs, and with a heart open to both giving and receiving. This way, your kindness will not ruin your life. Instead, it will enrich it and those around you. Thank you for listening, my friends. Remember, kindness isn't something you only give to others, it's something you must give to yourself as well. Until we meet again, walk with awareness, and may your path be one of peace and balance. Did this message resonate with you? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join our community as we walk together on this mindful path.